ChatGPT disadvantages. Hey guys, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you the disadvantages of using ChatGPT and the limitations that we face. So let's get into it. First of all, what you can do is you can go to openai.com and you will land right here. OpenAI has a new AI, which is ChatGPT, and it is actually uh, revolving around the internet as well. People are using it and everybody says that it's like a perfect AI, but that's not the truth. There are different disadvantages of using ChatGPT and different limitations that we can face using this AI. So let's actually check them out uh, in this video and let me show you the disadvantages. So once you get to OpenAI, you can click on try ChatGPT and then you will create an account on ChatGPT. So it will take you right here. This is, you can see my dashboard. It shows me my new chat right here. We have our uh, clear conversation here. We have light mode. We have improved ChatGPT. And then we have, of course, uh, some of the examples, capabilities and limitations given here. So at the bottom here, we can start a new conversation with the AI and it will give me the answers. If you have no idea about this ChatGPT, then it is actually a dialogue format AI that gives you the answer. It allows you to ask a follow-up question. It will be able to answer your follow-up questions, admit its mistake and challenge incorrect premises. We can challenge it too. And it will also reject inappropriate requests. Pretty good model um, that we can use and it is available for a beginner too we can use it for free so here we have ChatGPT, and i can ask it anything and it will give me an answer so that's actually pretty easy let's actually give it a very simple question got any creative ideas for a 10 years old birthday that's what i wanted to know so first of all you can see sometimes it will not complete your request. That's like happened right here. You can see an error occurred. Either the engine you requested does not exist or there was another issue processing your request. So, so this is the first thing that you will be facing using ChatGPT. That there can be an error. It will not answer you every time. There will be errors. It's not like Google. A lot of people compare it to Google because Google doesn't actually say this. Whenever you ask a question to Google, it gives you an answer right away. There's no such thing like... I know if there's no internet, then of course there's going to be an error, but I'm saying an error in processing your request. That's actually the issue here. And then the issue that we're facing with ChatGPT right now is that it's at capacity. So you won't be able to actually open it sometimes. That's what happened with me a few days ago as well. I already had an account from like when it was launched and what it says is that it is at capacity and you cannot use it right now. So that's also an issue whenever you want to use ChatGPT, it might not be available right now. So for that, you will have to, you can upgrade to A+. plus. Of course, once you do that, then the problem will not be there. But if you're using it for free and if you want to access it anytime, then this issue can occur. So moving on, uh, let's actually give it uh, a command again so that I can show you some of the different things that we have. And... Again, the limitations are given here. So these are the limitations that you need to keep in mind while using ChatGPT. ChatGPT can actually generate incorrect information. The information which ChatGPT is giving you, it is actually saying itself that it can be incorrect. You cannot trust ChatGPT 100% with a new information that you want to get. So that's actually an issue. That's a disadvantage of using ChatGPT then it may produce harmful instruction or biased content. Now, again, it's an AI, so it doesn't have a sense of inappropriate request and a harmful instruction. For instance, you ask ChatGPT that how I can actually play with fire. Now, ChatGPT will give me the answer without actually thinking that, okay, it can be harmful. It can be a harmful instruction of any kind. Like you can ask it to create a virus so that's how uh, we feel like there is this limitation and there is this disadvantage of using chat gpt moving on we have limited knowledge of world and events after 2021 so that's also an issue if you want to know something about the future if you want to get information of 2022 2023 then it might have a limited knowledge so let's actually test it if it will give me an answer or not 
So here I asked ChatGPT to give me the best NFT projects in 2023. So you can see it's saying that it cannot predict the future and provide an investment advice. So that's also a thing. If you want to know investment advice from ChatGPT, it will not give you that. Um, so it showed me some of the different uh, NFT projects from 2022. This is actually still, I think it's okay. But if I ask it for another event that occurred recently, then it will have illimited information. It will give you the information. It's not like it will have no idea, but sometimes it will be pretty limited. For instance, for a new a technology that's coming up and, and a new AI. So that's actually an issue with ChatGPT. Similarly, you can ask it some questions and it will reject your request. That is a thing. Now, it is actually in a capability that it can decline your inappropriate request. But again, it depends on what ChatGPT thinks is inappropriate. Maybe it's your work-related thing, but it will still reject your request. This is actually a good thing about ChatGPT and also a disadvantage. I would say that it can, of course, decline inappropriate requests, which is good, but it might not be inappropriate for you and you want to know the answer, but ChatGPT will decline it. So that's the thing. It has the power to decline your request. It's not going to give you answer every time uh, using chat gpt there is also a plus upgrade to plus so let's actually see the pricing for chat gpt we have a free plan available um, this is actually in demand standard response speed regular model updates and then we have a 20 dollars per month uh, available even when demand is high now this is actually uh, the difference between a free plan and the uh, plus one so this was uh, this is what i was talking about in the free plan it's actually not available sometimes that's a major issue then we have available even when the demand is high okay this issue will be resolved but you will have to pay 20 dollars per month faster response speed priority access to a new feature okay perfect so here we have a standard response which is again for a free plan um, that is okay but we wanted something for free if you want to compare it to google and that's not i think that's not a fair comparison so we have upgrade plan for 20 dollars per month now it depends on you if you want to spend 20 dollars per month using chat gpt so this is the pricing plan it might be a little expensive for some people because we were looking for something under ten dollars per month very easy access we can use it every day um, you know any person can use students can use it so that's what we were looking for but it's twenty dollars per month um other than that there are different advantages to ChatGPT as well it will give you answers it will ask answer your follow-up in a conversation it will answer your follow-up questions so that's actually pretty impressive it's a good ai to use you can check it out you can go to open ai and you can create your account for free and use the free version again there will be some of the limitations and disadvantages to it but you can make your own decision um and now i think you know what are the different disadvantages to using this AI? So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Or leave a comment down below. Turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.